Some consider it an issue of chivalry. Others think it's just plain awkward. You know, the time of the date with check comms and you're faced with the uncomfortable subject of who pays. And uh, here to clear up all of the con confusion and your questions about what to do and what to stay away from on a date is style expert George Worrell. George, let's Welcome, George. Yeah, Hello, thank let's, you. let's start with this. Pat's a married woman, so we won't yeah. use her as an example. But I haven't well, always be, been. Oh, yeah, she could be an example. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I remember when. <laughs> and it's still relevant. It's, you go yeah. out with a woman, you're on a date, who gets the bill? Well, it depends who asks. Oh. If she asks you, Okay. I mean, and today, you know, she can pay. If okay. she asks you out, yes. she pays. The way I was raised, and, it, it, to, and we go further to now, yeah. meaning that we knew that if I asked you to go out, even you, Craig, right. just say if it was business, I'm paying. So whoever that was not a matter. Pays, yeah. Simple rule. And now everybody, it's okay. freedom everywhere. Okay. So. Let me give you a scenario here. Mm -hmm. Then, Let's, what if you got? What if you're talking to somebody and it's like, hey, you know, we should get together sometime. And the other person's like, yeah, we should get together sometime. Ah. And then you go out, and there really hasn't been a clear ask. How do you decide? Well, then? usually you can say, hey, would you like to split it? Okay. Double touch. You, yeah. Or if you think there's an issue, talk about it first. Ah. Do you know what I mean? And I think people, that's where they go wrong with not having dialogue about it. They uh -huh. think that it's just going to be okay. And I've been out many times, and the check comes, and the check is like sitting there, and you think like the check fairy is going to come from some place and, and, and pay the check, and it's not going to happen. Okay, so now what if the woman invites the man out, and, mm -hmm. and then they, they eat, they enjoy it, and he doesn't feel comfortable having her pay when she whips out her card? Well, you can discuss that, and if he insists on it, then say, hey, well, let's go out for ice cream or let's do a movie, and I'll pay, or let's just go Dutch. You know, respect the person of what they want to do. If they don't want to, if they feel uncomfortable, like some women will say, well, I'd rather pay on the first date because I, I don't want I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to be at the end to think that you know there's going to be something extra but you don't want to offend your date so if, 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 he, if he doesn't want you to pay and he wants to do it then you know I have no problem with that <laughs> you know but you do respect people's boundaries mm -hmm. if you say hey I feel more comfortable if I paying pay. yeah okay. And, so, and, and you make a good point. That at the end of the day, it's all about communication. Like communication it's, it's is about key, communication. That we have to somehow figure out how to broach what can be an extremely awkward conversation. Because no one really wants to talk about the check and money and things like that. The overall experience is what you want to have. And you, going out on the first date or going out with friends, the last thing that you want to do is have this feeling of taking away from the atmosphere of worrying about the check. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So, so your third rule here is invite her to dinner before or after the event if you if you have this conflict. If, if you have a conflict, then you know, it should be minimal. Okay. Talk about it first if you think there's an issue. I had a friend, we were at lunch yesterday, and she said that a gentleman said to her, like, hey, let's go out. I'm going to pay for dinner, but I only have enough. You know, when we go to the movie, oh, so we're going to have to go Dutch. Oh, that's so that's too much information. That's it, so he should have just invited her to the movie. That was the but last just time respect, we just open dialogue mm -hmm. and just say, what do you feel comfortable with? If she, who paid for your last dinner, your last lunch? I did. You did. <laughs> did you invite? Yes. Okay. So, play, so you did. Right own rules. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, if somebody wants to invite me, uh, hey, yeah, I, it's, for it's no problem. I, this is totally unrelated to what we brought you here for. I love the, I, It takes a real man to pull off seersucker, George Worrell. It takes a real man to do it. I love it. It's hot. It, it, well, it's true. It's, hot. it's practical, too. But also, can we add this, too, about the yeah, role? Yeah, like, ahead. you may not have the monies or whatever yeah, yeah. To, to go to lunch. If you know the person or you're getting to know and you feel safe about it, have them into dinner. You know, have them to your home. Or That's going to cost more. No, it's not. No. I've done dinners like that because I have my own business. I have, couldn't afford to take people to lunch. What I've done is cook, I've, right? go, I've cooked. Oh, and okay. it gives them more intimate, you know. But oh. bring something. And, uh, and, 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 and talk about it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like people it. coming to someone's house for the first time. Yeah. My parents are from the South, so mm -hmm. I integrated right. this. Right. That it, And it should be universal to bring a little bring, something, bring something about it. Why don't ask? Yes. Like my first time here, I brought you guys something. Oh, really? Okay, right. yeah. what is this? Just a little you something. Okay. Yeah, just a little so something. Can we open it now or later? Yeah, you can okay. open it now. It's just right. a little oh. something to start your oh, morning. Starbucks nice. card. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. George Orwell will be back tomorrow on the day after the day after. <laughs> he's, a, he's now a permanent guest on Daily Connect. Thanks, George. Appreciate it. Thank you.